Micromax has been gaining extreme popularity in the tech world and an evident feature of that is the latest offering, the Canvas Tablet. And we got it for your review and we tell you how great is this one. When we talk about Micromax, there is one thing that will certainly cross your mind. And that is that this brand has done very well in the past few years in the world of technology. Micromax first came out with its tablet and that is called the Fun Book. It was basically meant for education and concentrated on students. But now what they have come out with is from their flagship series of Canvas. It seems that Micromax does not want to leave Samsung behind in any sphere. May that be their phones or may that be their tablet. Now this one is a direct competition to the Tab 3 and how well would this one pair would be very interesting to watch. The Canvas Tab is packaged in a sleek but slightly heavier aluminium body which comes in two colors, marine blue and pristine white. This textured finish helps mask the fingerprints that will inevitably grease up the tablet's back, embossed by the Micromax branding right in the middle of the non-removable back cover. In the front, the 2 megapixel camera can be found on the top right, while the screen rests in the middle of the broad bezel, similar to that we saw in Samsung's Tab 2. It also lacks a physical home button and can be unlocked with the power button on top. Flung by a micro USB phone and headphone jack, the volume rocker sits on the right edge alongside a slot of both micro SD and SIM card. And just like the Tab 3, a 5 megapixel rear camera is placed on the upper left of the back panel. Micromax has used 1024 by 768 8 inch IPS display in the tab. Compared to the HD screen doned by the brand's recent smartphone, images and text are not that crisp, although the colors are reasonably vibrant. On the top, viewing angles are nice and white, though you'll have a harder time using the tablet in direct sunlight. Apart from lack of glare shield, low brightness of the screen adds to your problem. Audio speakers are a letdown though. The speaker on the tablet delivers average quality sound even at full volume. And the headphones that come with do not offer a good alternator as well. However, the call volume and clarity was good when tested. The Micromax P650 Canvas Tab runs on Android 4.2.1 Jelly Bean OS. It is powered by a MediaTek quad-core 1.2 GHz processor and a 1 GB RAM. There is 16 GB of internal storage for you to store music, movie and document which is expandable up to 32 GB. The new tablet from Micromax Table just seems fast with almost no hesitant while opening applications, switching views or playing graphic heavy games. Browser speed when tested with Google Chrome looked decent but struggled to play video online. A trial of the 5 megapixel rear camera in low light gives some pretty decent results. Sample photos taken by its camera in daylight delivered accurate images minus the vibrant color expected. In addition, Micromax has its own camera app that has shooting modes ranging from HDR, face beauty, panorama to smile detection shots. Considering that both Canvas HD and 4 adds more life and color to images with a better camera, this Canvas tab fails short. It's of no doubt that the latest offering from Micromax is a powerful successor to its earlier series of fun books. A trial with graphic heavy games, multiple windows of application and several rounds of music being played in the background, the Canvas Tab P650 did well beyond your expectation. A 16GB Micromax Canvas Tab with 3G and Wi-Fi cost you 16500 only will go easier on your wallet than an 8-inch. So finally, when the Samsung Tab 3 is on the bad side of the critic meter, it is automatic that the Micromax Canvas Tab can simply take the tie away. But it has some dominating Samsung and Apple in the market, but still, the Micromax Canvas Tab fares very well in comparison. It is as good as them, if not better. Therefore, on our Gigometer, we give it a 7, a 7 again on the style quotient, and a 7 again on the general user. It's time now to take a look at the interesting stories from across the shore.